What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World and we're here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Showdown battling segment. Now, I wanted to experiment a little bit more with the Uber tier. I really enjoy playing in it, so I figured I might as well use a new team in it just to feel it out a little bit more. I need to get as much experience with different Pokemon as possible, so I kind of changed up the team a little bit. Actually, I I'm using a totally different team altogether, as you guys can see here. I have this Uber team too. And um, this team is going to consist of Mewtwo, Lucario, um, Thunderous, um, Thunderous for the, you know, the taunting. Um, we got Groudon, Reshiram, and Palkia. Now the sets, I'll explain those as we go along, but for now, let's look for a battle. I really want to test this team out. I'm so curious about the Uber tier. I'm so damn curious. So for now, let's see what this guy wants to do. He's going to probably leave with Dialga to get his rocks up, which is going to be a problem for us. So let's go in there with Thunderous just to make sure that he doesn't do any kind of setup whatsoever with any of this stuff. We're going to go for the Thunder Wave. Actually, no, let's go for the Taunt right away. I want to make sure that this guy doesn't get those rocks up. We don't need that happening. And now let's go for my defensive Grodon, which has max HP, max defense. He's going to go for the Dragon Tail. Okay. Interesting move. Interesting move. But now we have my, um, my Mega Mewtwo Y in there. I'm thinking, you know what? Let's, let's stay, let's stay our regular form right now. We're going to go for the Aura Sphere here. Hit him really, really hard. What the fuck? Damn, this thing is bulky. This thing is bulky as hell. Oh man, he's going to get his Stealth Rocks up now. Oh, this sucks. Oh, well, whatever. We can get this chance to get our own stealth box up. He's going to go for the Draco Meteor. It's going to do a lot of damage. Shit. Um, let's get these stealth rocks up, man. We got to get these rocks up. All right, he's going to go for Giratina. That's fine and dandy. Um, I'm not sure what this guy wants to do. I don't know what Giratinas want to do in general. I know they're mostly bulky Pokemon. Oh, man, this is a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Um, let's go into... Perhaps. No, he's probably going to try to get the burn off on us. So you know what? It's fine. Let's go for a Toxic. Yeah, I know these Giratina like to carry Will-O-Wisp, so you know what? It's fine and dandy. We'll make this work out. Uh, now, let's go for the Roar, just to switch it up a little bit. Oh, God! Yes! Oh, wait, wait. Then again, this might just be beneficial. No, we're burned. He knows he's not going to basically... This is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Um, let's go for Lucario, because I don't think this guy, even if he goes for a dragon, even if he goes for a Draco Meteor, we're going to be able to take that. All right, so now let's go for the Mega Evolution, because, yeah, let's go for the Mega Evolution and go straight for the close combat, man. Here comes Lugia. Let's go. Mega Evolve. We got the adaptability, man. Damn, that was a critical hit. God damn, Lucario. Um, the Lugia, maybe we can kill this thing with a nice punch. Maybe we can kill it with a nice punch. Damn, this thing's too bulky! <laughs> it's too bulky! <laughs> God damn it! We're gonna need Lucario. We're going to need this thing. So, you know, we can't play too reckless with this. Let's go into my specially defensive Palkia to take the Aerial Blast, which he gets a critical hit, of course. Which is standard. Um, let's go for a Toxic on this guy. He's gonna Toxic us, but he's gonna miss his. We're gonna go for a Toxic ourselves, it's really cool. So now we can switch into somebody who's probably not going to take damage from the Toxic as much. But it's kind of dangerous to go into Lucario. But you know what, let's go into Groudon to get our sun up. No, 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 no! Oh wait, okay, oh, okay. I thought for a fact that we would not be able to get our sun up if we come in and die to a hit. But um, no, the sun goes up first and then you take the damage from whatever hit the Pokemon wants to do. That's fine. Um, let's go for... Uh, Let's go for a roar. Oh, okay, never mind. He's gonna take us out there. And now, let's go into Rushy Ram, who has a Choice Scarf. He's gonna be able to do a lot of damage here with the Blue Flare. This should do a ton of fucking damage, unless he goes into Giratina. Oh, Xerneas comes in. Okay, that's fine. The Blue Flare is gonna KO him easy. That's great. He has a Mewtwo himself, though, which I am definitely disturbed about. He's got Arceus Bug in there. Let's go for another blue flare. We should outspeed this thing. We're max speed. Let's go! Reshi Ram in the building. We're doing work right now. We're doing work. This Reshi Ram set is max speed, max special attack with the speed boosting nature, and it's got um, a choice scarf on, you know? So this is meant to pretty much come in and clean up once Groudon is out of the way. Um, because we don't have Groudon, I'm really feeling like, you know, our best opportunity is to just stay in and go for the blue flares constantly. You know, we should do a lot of damage either way. Damn, that thing resisted like that. What? It's gonna hit us with the Dragon's Heel. 
Um, that's fine. Let's go for a taunt on this guy. Oh man, this game is far from over though. That Mewtwo. I'm worried about that Mewtwo that he has there. I'm wondering which one it is, but it's probably going to be Mewtwo Y. I don't, I don't know, actually. I really have no fucking idea which Mewtwo is more popular in Ubers. I would guess Mewtwo Y is, but I really have no clue whatsoever. I really don't know. Alright, he's going to use Willow Wisp on us. That's fine. Because we have him Toxic, this is going to work out really nicely for us. Let's go for the Hidden Power Ice, just because. Let's see how much damage it does. Damn, this thing is too bulky. It's too damn bulky. He's going to go for a Dragon Tail again. That's fine with me. We should be faster than Giratina at this point. So let's go for uh, let's go for a Hydro Pump just in case something wants to switch it. Or maybe a Spatial Brand. Let's go for a Spatial Brand. Oh, it missed? Oh, come on. That was 95% accuracy. Come on. Alright, so now Giratina is down. That's great. We're in there with Mega Lucario right now. What kind of Mewtwo is this going to be? I am worried. I am definitely worried. Um, let's go for the, uh, his speed is not going to be increased, right? How much speed does Mega Lucario have? How much speed does this thing have? Because I, I, you know, I probably should know off the top of my head, but I don't. So, let's see how much speed this guy has. Um, 112, that's not too bad, but I don't think he's going to be able to outspeed Mewtwo. No, I really don't think so. Because Mewtwo, I don't know, you ever know. 112, oh, 130, yeah. I don't know, am I max speed on this Lucario? I don't know, I can't remember. Let me check my team really quick. This Lucario is... N oh, it's max speed. I, I made sure to give it max speed. We might be able to outspeed that. But still, what am I going to want to really outspeed this guy with? At this point now... Yeah, what am I really going to want to outspeed with? Yeah, let's just go for the, um, the bullet punch. Do a lot of damage. 42%? Not too bad. Or Sphere, of course that's going to take me out. Now, I don't know if this Mega Mewtwo Y has max speed, but if we go in there at Reshiram, we should be able to outspeed. Because, you know, obviously he doesn't have a choice item, you know? So, let's go for a General Shadow Ball. That'll hit anything coming in really, really hard. Or maybe a Blue Flare. Yeah, Blue Flare. Hit, hit the Blue Flare. If Lugia comes in and take rock damage, it's going to allow it to get KO'd with the Blue Flare, no problem. In fact, we can stay in there with the Blue Flare at this point, I think. Um, let's keep let's keep going for it, man. Just keep firing the Blue Flare off. It's an amazing move, by the way. 130 base? I'll take that. Damn, Dialga! Stop being so bulky! Stop being so goddamn bulky, Dialga. But this is great, because now we can come in there with Mewtwo, who can try to clean up. You know, let's go for an Ice Beam here. Hopefully we'll be able to... Um, hit the Dialga hard enough to kill it, I hope. Okay, great. Ice Beam's gonna take out Dialga. This Mewtwo is actually a Mega Mewtwo as well, but um, I have Mega Mewtwo Y Ite, I have Mega Mewtwo Knight Y and Lucario Knight on the same team. Mainly because the coverage that both Lucario Knight can be really useful for Xerneas. This team is basically made to, whichever one is more valuable, I use that. But these Uber Pokemon have stats that are really, so good that I don't even have to worry about one of them not going Mega if the other one does and not being strong enough because Mewtwo has a massive amount of special attack as it is. Lucario has a lot of attack as it is, so I don't have to worry if one of them goes Mega and the other one doesn't because they'll be able to do damage either way. It works out. And um, that was an interesting game, man. We actually managed to pull through the first victory for this team. Our ranking is now 12,018. So you know what? We're still in the low levels, but let's keep rising, man. Let's keep doing it.